Today, we're going to be talking about the current trends and expert insights in the dental practice market with Maria Malone. She's a CPA, a certified valuation analyst, and really today we're tapping into the leading M&A advisor in healthcare, also with a deep knowledge of dental industry located in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, Her mission is to help both individual businesses and multi-site groups, which we'll talk more about, navigate the complex landscape of capital or strategic transactions. Welcome, Maria. How are you? Um, Great to be here, Melissa. Always a pleasure to join you on your podcast and uh, looking forward to this conversation today. What are you seeing take place via mergers and such? Yeah. Um, So in the industry today, you know, we're coming out of a period where um, there has been a a bit of a slowdown. Um, We saw with the spike in interest rates really impacted a number of groups um, fairly significantly in terms of um, impacting basically their cash flow um, and ability to continue to grow. Um, And so for the last, say, year plus, um, we've definitely had some of the larger DSOs sitting on the sidelines in terms of uh, their growth. and at the same time, we we also saw a number of, you know, semi, um, I wouldn't say the largest, but fairly large DSOs really having some significant financial trouble. Um, in a couple of cases, um, assets were turned back over to the banks. And so that certainly, I think, created um, a bit of pause for many buyers and, you um, you know, created an environment where I think in today's market, buyers generally are being a little bit more judicious, um, both in terms of values that they're willing to pay um, and just, um, you know, choice of transactions they're willing to do. Um, One thing in particular that we've seen is a pretty big shift in the transaction structure in terms of how value is conveyed to the seller. Um, Up until about, you know, a year ago, I would say many transactions were 80% cash at close, 20% in some sort of either equity role, deferred payment note. Um, And in, in some cases today, we're seeing that having shifted to a 50-50. So 50% cash at close and 50% either an equity role or some other form of of note or deferred compensation. You know, and that's a that's a pretty big shift and has a pretty big in, impact on on a seller and uh you know what they're able to do with the the value of their practice or business. Mm-hmm. 